you will never share an intimate moment with Rainbow Dash. Whoosh! The rainbow-haired Pegasus soared through the skies above you yet again, twirling through the air with style as she flies. You had been lying on one of the clouds below watching her perform aerial stunts for almost an hour now, stunned with the feats she's capable of. The cloud supporting you feels amazing, sturdy enough to hold your weight, but soft and malleable enough to bend to your exact shape and form. You couldn't thank Twilight enough for letting you be her test subject for improving her cloud walking spell on you, seeing if she could increase the longevity on the spell. She theorized that the spell could last for two days now instead of one, but recommended finding a low cloud to stand at the end of the day in case she was wrong. Then again, Rainbow Dash was the one who had volunteered you. She said she needed somebody as opposed to some pony, as most of the residents usually went by, to watch her routine so she could try out for the Wonderbolts, and thought that you might enjoy the show. Twilight offered to join, but Rainbow declined, saying that most of it was stuff Twilight had seen before. The unicorn seemed a bit confused as to why she wouldn't want a friend who could offer more constructive criticisms as support, but she knew better than to press the issue. You watch Rainbow Dash charge up her speed before a fierce collection of multicolored ball lightning gathered around her, following her as she zigzags through the sky and forms a flashy lightning bolt that closely resembled her own cutie mark. Your jaw hangs open in awe as she hovers down to join you on your cloud. And that is what I like to call the Buccaneer Blitz. She boasts proudly. Her eyes close while she raises a pumped hoof in front of her. I have to be careful where I pull that one off. Last time I tried that closer to the ground, I won't set Town Hall on fire. What do you think? Your face still wears a mystified expression from her last feet. She snickers as she weighs the hoof in front of you. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? You shake your head to bring yourself back to attention and compliment her on her stunt. You tell her that with her entire routine, you're shocked that the Wonderbolts haven't been begging for her to join their ranks. Oh, thanks. That means a lot to me. She leans in and rubs her nose against yours gently, her wings keeping her afloat in front of you. The action catches you a bit off guard. For the past few days that you've been here in Ponyville, Rainbow Dash has had more of the tomboyish flair to her, always up for competition and never wanting to take part in anything girly or flamboyant. She's really been a rough and tumble kind of pony. She lands next to you and moves her shoulders a bit. Phew, kinda tired. I guess I was so caught up in my routine I forgot to stop and take a breather. She plops her stomach down in the cloud and pokes her head over the edge. Hey, come over here and look. You edge your way carefully, knowing that one wrong move could send you careening over the edge to your doom. Gripping tightly on your fluffy support, you gaze down and see the wide expanse of the city of Ponyville. There are so many buildings that are instantly recognizable, even from this height. Sugar Cube Corner, Twilight's Library, the Quills and Sofa Warehouse. All throughout the town, little specks of ponies are scurrying about, all running different errands to run just to make ends meet. You tell her what a beautiful town you think it is. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Rainbow Dash responded. I mean, Cloudale's my home and it's great, but Ponyville's where all the action takes place. I pretty much come to Cloudsdale for work as a weather pony and to sleep, and heck, Sometimes I'll even sleep in Ponyville. Funny, huh? You chuckle at her explanation, once again saying how glad you are to have come here and meet all of her friends, especially her. Yeah, I'm really glad you came here. As you look down on the city, you feel a soft feathery something laid against your back, almost holding you in a sense. You look to the side and see that one of Rainbow Dash's wings has extended over and is keeping you close. 
When she sees you looking at her, she flashes you a sweet smile, trying not to seem too uneasy. You chuckle a bit nervously, but enjoy the feeling of her wing upon you nonetheless. Hey? She utters softly. You ask what's the matter, but she responds quickly. Nothing. After a minute of awkward silence, she speaks again. Can I tell you something? And you... You have to promise me that you won't tell any of my friends. You tell her that you can be trusted, so she should feel free to speak her mind. Thanks. I... I'm not trying to join the Wonderbolts anymore. You turn your body towards her fully, surprised at her statement. You ask her why, since her friends have told you that that's all she's been working towards since they knew her whenever... The subject came up. Yeah, I haven't told them yet, so they probably still think that's my dream. And since I was a filly, it really was. I always thought that I'll get so much notoriety and fame and stuff, but from all the friends I've made and stunts I've performed in Ponyville over the last year, I realized I, that I... Already have all that. The Wonderbolts would just keep me working for them in air shows, and I would have never had any time for my friends. I would pretty much be doing what I already do, but on a schedule that might not be convenient for me. Sure, I'll get a cool costume, and I'll get to hang out with Sora and Spitfire. Rainbow Dash folded her forelegs over one another and rested her head on them. But it's just not worth it. You reach an arm over and give her a supportive squeeze. You tell her that you're sorry she's had a lifelong dream fade away from her like that. Though she still looks a bit down, she smiles and looks up at you. Thanks. It means a lot. She leans into you as you brush your hand across her shoulder. Feeling the texture of her soft cyan coat against your palm. After a minute of physically consoling her, you ask if it's your turn to ask her a question. Yeah, go for it, she responds. You ask her why she wanted you to watch her routine, if she wasn't training for the one bolt anymore. Oh, yeah. Her voice lowers in volume a bit before she continues. Well, I still really enjoy flying around and, well, being awesome. But I guess I just wanted to show off to you. You ask her, why to you? Because I think you're kind of awesome too. Before you can ask her if she's serious, she picks herself up with her forelegs bearing down on your lap, looking intently into your eyes. You stare into her shining Cerise eyes, searching for the right words to say. She leans in closer to you, just inches from your face. She's hesitating about what to do next. You can see from the look in her eyes that she's scared that she might be putting you off by being so needy all of a sudden. She quickly forces her eyes shut and pushes into you, meeting your lips to hers. She's completely motionless, just standing there with your mouths connected. The only movement you can feel from her is the trembling that her lips are making, an indication of how nervous she is. You feel awful that she's felt so pent up and scared about confessing her feelings to you. You respond by moving your lips into hers. You can feel her shaking cease as she maneuvers her own in response. You open your eyes for only a second and see that her eyes, while still closed now, appear more relaxed as you kiss her. She opens her eyes and breaks the kiss for a moment, leaning your forehead against yours. Thank you, she whispers, a relieved smile forming on her face. You smile back and reach up to her rainbow hair and stroke it tenderly. Her mane is... So amazing, you think to yourself, 
You love the silky feeling it has as you run your fingers all through her bright and colorful locks. You would have never thought a mullet could look so stylish. But most of the people you have seen wearing it never had one as beautiful as hers. As you absorb the feeling of her hair, she nuzzles her head into your hand fondly. Very fondly. It's almost as if she's trying to merge with it so she can feel your touch for the rest of her life. You giggle as she nuzzles herself against you, to which she cuts a sharp look at you. Don't laugh at me, Rainbow Dash says, sticking her tongue out at you. You apologize, telling her that you're just surprised that she could be so affectionate. You're so used to her being a toughie. Well, yeah, with my friends I am, but that's not me at all. I hate to admit it, but I am still a girl. She beams and pushes her weight against you, forcing you to lean back as she kisses your lips again. You respond in kind, filling the air around you with tender smacking sound as your lips embrace. As your lips tango in harmony, you feel her front hooves reached up and touch your cheek. You decide to treat her like the girl she claims to be. You reach your arms around her and hold her tightly, stroking her back in a gentle manner. You hear her giggle while she kisses you, and then hear the sound of a flap for a moment. You open your eyes and notice that her wings have unfurled, as if she's about to take flight. You move your hands along the side of her back and across the limbs of her wing, stroking the feathers underneath with care. Dash breaks the kiss suddenly and draws her head back, wincing sharply. You ask her if you hurt her. No, she exclaims. No, it it doesn't hurt. I'm just, uh, really sensitive there, if you know what I mean. She gives you a sheepish grin. You puzzle for a few seconds over what she means, before it clicks and your eyes widen in embarrassment. You apologize quickly. Hey, no worries. She leans in and bats her eyelashes at you. I didn't say you have to stop. You take a few deep breaths and smirk, bring your hand back to where it was. You run your fingers delicately across her feathers, feeling each individual one as you advance. Rainbow's face tenses up for a moment, but then melts away into joy as you touch her. You're not sure if all pegs are wing sensitive or if it's just her, but she's most certainly in paradise at the moment. You isolate one of her feathers and rub it in between your thumb and index finger, asking her in a sensual tone if she likes what you're doing. She opens her eyes again and stares at you. You tell me. She reaches for the hand you're using to stroke her wings and redirect it elsewhere. She slowly brings your hand in front of her and pushes it downward in between her haunches. Your mouth opens up as you figure out where she's taking it, and she grins at you deviously. She lightly pushes your hand into her. You suddenly feel a warm and wet sensation pushing into your fingers as she holds you there firmly. You feel that? She asks with lust building in her voice. That means I like it a lot. Oh, I really like it. She continues to hold your hand, guiding it up and down the crevice of her slit. As your fingers slide across her, you can feel more wetness building forth. Well, you just gonna tread all day or are you gonna dive in? You take a breath and push your middle finger into her, feeling the heat of her chambers overtake your fingers. She lets out a gentle sigh as you maneuver your finger inside her and rotate against her inner walls. She leans back and sticks her chest out, making it clear how much she's enjoying herself. You notice between her legs two small mounds sticking out above her folds. She's an A cup, easily. It makes sense due to her sleek and athletic body designed for performing those aerial moves from earlier. You reach your unoccupied hand to her left breast and give it a squeeze. 
Her eyes widen as she squeals loudly. Ah, oh, jeez, she cries out. Warn me before you do that. You laugh and ask her what fun could be had in ruining the surprise. Her face turns light red as you continue to caress her, making her groan rather loudly. She dives in and attacks your lips with hers, forsaking her tender motions from earlier and sticking her tongue right in. As quickly as she began it, she then breaks the connection and looks into your eyes. More, she says to you firmly. Caught breathless, you ask her what she means. C come on, you're just building me up here. I'm not getting any release. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna explode. She leans her rear end against your leg, rubbing up against where your pants have become excruciatingly tight. I need something with more build to it. You remove your finger from inside her and unzip your pants. Rainbow Dash leans back on the cloud you're both sharing and lifts her hind legs into the air, bearing all of her rear for you to view. Her mare hoods glistening from being covered in her excited juices, her rainbow tail resting underneath her to expose her tight flank hole. Her flank isn't as large as the other mares, but it has its charm. It's still prominent and built well for its small size. You run your palm along one of her cheeks and give it a good smack. Ah! Ah! She cries out, lifting her forelegs up in front of her, as if she's begging. Hurry up and uh, put it in. I'm dying over here! She flails her hind legs back and forth in a very antsy fashion. You straddle your arms over her sides and look down on her, a dominating smile on your face. You slowly push your stiff member inside of her, causing her to let out a joyful groan as it forces its way up against her caverns. Yes! Ah! Uh, Dash shouts, bearing an eager smile on her face. It's finally in. That's what I'm talking about. You pull back just as slowly as you enter and watch the smile disappear from her face, like she's worried it might not return to her. You quickly thrust into her, your hips slapping against her buttocks. The smile quickly returns to her face as her eyes roll up into her head. Oh my gosh! She screams as she tilts her head back. Her rainbow tail swishes wildly between your thighs in delight. Ah, oh, this is awesome! Keep going! You close your eyes and repeat the motion, rocking your hips back and forth in powerful thrusts. Each time you push into her, you can feel the head of your shaft push against the end of her womb, giving you a good indication that you're doing a good job. You only rock into her for a few more minutes before Rainbow Dash's moaning starts to take on a more frantic pace. You ask if she's about to hit her moment. Uh, yeah, she responds. I, I fly fast. I shag fast. I'm sorry. She almost looks ashamed of herself as she tightens her face up, trying with everything she can do to prolong her release. She buries her head within her hooves, embarrassed of you looking at her. You slow your rhythm down a moment and reach for her hoof, pulling it to the side. She opens her one eye hesitantly. You tell her that she shouldn't be embarrassed. If anything, it just takes more pressure off of you. With one eye still open, she smiles at you weakly and reaches up with both hooves to hold on to you. Thank you. I... I... I love you. Ah, uh, uh, uh. With that, you feel her walls tighten around your shaft, pouring a heavy dose of wetness over the head of it, and tugging it even deeper into her. The sudden pull forces you into an early climax as well. It stings a bit as you eject your load into her. Your semen, mixing in with her fluids, mixing in and seeping out of her as well. The rainbow pegasus now satisfied, she lets go of your arms and lets her hooves fall to the cloud on either side of her. You gently pull out of her and watch a few drops fall through the cloud below you. You can't help but feel bad for the poor pony that might get caught underneath, but hopefully 
they'll pass it off as some sticky rain or something. With your act complete, you slump down to the side of Rainbow Dash and caress your hand around her face. She smiles and leans towards you, pecking you on the cheek and laying her head on your chest. You're awesome, she says, stretching her shoulders as she gets comfortable against you. Almost as awesome as me. You laugh and pinch her cheeks lovingly at her words. Quit it, she says as she brushes your hand away. She feigns a powerful yawn and quickly falls asleep on top of you, a content smile stuck on her face. You delight in the scene of the rainbow pegasus sleeping so contentedly. You lightly brush her colorful hair as her breathing begins to make you feel groggy as well. You look to either side, confirming the open air surrounding you. No way to get down without her help. Might as well enjoy a nice nap on this little piece of paradise in the sky. Thank you so much. Hang on, let me, let me, I don't feel like I had enough energy in that shit. Thank you so much for goddamn listening to my reading. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, this was a request by XX Sugar Spark. XX. So, yeah. Hopefully, this will be the story that brings me to 100. Well, not 100. I'm way past, I'm way past 100. 1,000 subscribers. Hopefully. I mean, I'm only like 15 away at the uh, point at the uh, uploading of this video. So, yeah, that's incredibly exciting. Uh, some of the other people who also requested stuff might be wondering why I read this one first. I mean, yeah, I mean, this person only requested their thing yesterday, pretty much like twenty hours away, uh, twenty hours before the uploading of this video, and uh, the reason for that is because, well, I I do look at all the stories I requested, and um, I do give them a little skim over, you know, just on the. When I'm like a bit, when I have time, I just skim them over on my phone and I, I give it a read. But if I I don't feel like it's worth me putting in time uh, to actually read it, if I don't think it'll provide uh, the views, then basically I won't read it. I I won't do a reading of it, and that's that's that will that's that. So yeah, I mean, sorry, I, I guess, I mean, yeah, anyway, 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 I don't want to end, I don't want to end on a, uh, on a sad note, so I kind of want to know what you guys think I look like, as in uh, my appearance. You've heard my voice, you've seen my shitty drawings. What do you think the person behind the screen looks like? I'm extremely curious. So please leave your thoughts down in the comments and tell me. Bye bye!